So Dan, uh, last week uh, we talked a little bit about uh, NRF, which is the nation's largest uh, retail technology trade show. Talked a little bit about what Google was doing in there. And if you want to catch that, uh, just uh, uh, check uh, uh, check YouTube or, or Twitter for that. But uh, what ha what else happened? You actually went to the event, Dan, as I experienced NRF for the, from the comfort of my home. Yeah, don't rub it in. No, honestly, it was great. And, and that's exactly how I want to approach this. You know, I mentioned Microsoft. Uh, we did a huge resilient retail report for Microsoft that got launched at the uh, event. Uh, Shelly Branston, the corporate VP that basically runs uh, uh, consumer goods industries, uh, actually nominated to the board of NRF, presented our research as part of her uh, one of the keynotes at the event. So I'm very proud of that. And what we were focusing on this year was kind of how does retail stay strong? Uh, between supply chain issues, between e-commerce and how digital is changing the buyer's journey. And let me just tell you that as we walked, as I walked the floor of NRF, there was two major observations. One, um, it was in New York and the thing was packed. So I really do believe we we're at the end of the whole virtual and hybrid. People that are part of important events are going back and being in person at events. This was a thousand percent busier than it was a year ago. So we saw it with CES, we saw it with NRF. On the um, actual, uh, you know, the vendor side or, you know, the, the exhibitor side, NRF is a tech show. Pat, I walk in the door at the top level of this thing and I walk through SAP, Microsoft, Cisco, IBM, Oracle, Salesforce, um, and, you know, you just name it, go down the line. Every, Adobe, every major tech company is in a booth there. So if you go to NRF, it looks like a major enterprise tech show. And the bottom line is this, is that the main theme I'm seeing here is that analytics are going to take the retail industry by storm in a new way. And let me explain what I mean by that. You know, historically speaking, e-commerce has been the analytics friendly consumer retail vehicle. Why? Because it's very easy to track behavior online. Retail has been a lot harder. You know, e-commerce was supposed to el eliminate uh, retail, right? Eventually, we were never going to go to a store again, Pat. We were just going to spend all our days in our uh, in our couches ordering stuff from Amazon. And yeah. based on Amazon's growth, some of that is true. But I think when you buy things, right, whether it's a new Montclair sweater or it's a uh, vehicle, or you wanna go shopping for your home, or uh, you're a recreation, you wanna buy a new bicycle. Um, you know, I actually think uh, retail is great. And, and by the way, simple things too, like grocery shopping. I don't know about you, I do a lot of that curbside stuff during the pandemic, but I don't really like getting the defunct uh, produce and the, and the most likely to expire bread. And when they come and bring that groceries out to you, you always get the worst stuff. So I like going in and picking my avocados. And so the bottom line is, People like retail, but for retailers to grow in a meaningful way, they have to get better analytics. Well, so what Microsoft and Salesforce and Oracle and a lot of these companies are showing are these very industry rich cloud capabilities, plus these next generation frictionless analytics driven sales experiences you can use things like AI, sensors, IoT, camera technology. We've all heard about Amazon and their just walk out technology. Well, that's going to go to scale pretty soon. Microsoft has showed some displays of this in their booth, the ability to walk in using low end cameras and sensors to be able to have people do that whole just walk out technology. So now rather than just being proprietary to the Amazon stores, every major grocer chain is gonna be able to start looking at stores. They showed one example in Poland of a store that opening thousands of these small retail shops where people can walk in with their ID or credit card, fill up their baskets and walk out. And these stores require one human to manage five stores. And if you see in the future with the camera technology, now they're able to look at where we're looking on the shelves to be able to determine the positioning, how to sell to Frito-Lay, how much Frito-Lay pays to have something at an eye level versus a lower level. And we're starting to be able to get that rich analytics subset of data that we've been able to get from e-commerce for a long time, bringing omni-channel experiences much closer. So this is what big tech is really doing to drive the future of retail. And this whole resilient retail is going to come down to using better technology, which is what our study found. And it's going to be all about having better visibility into the supply chains of the future, which is going to be driven all by technology. So I could talk a lot more, but it was a really great event. Had, I think, 20-something meetings in 12 hours. Um, just awesome. And there were so many of our clients were there, so many of the tech uh, giants. 
It's great to see technology helping to revive the retail industry.